Hi. Till now we tried a little bit this hierarchical design when we use sheet symbols and connect them together and therefore we connect different parts of the schematics on different sheets together and uh, we represent the whole design in a more uh, readable way. Um, but we did not talk about details, uh, how the hierarchy between the ports, net labels and other means of connecting circuit are is made and uh, therefore sometimes we cannot know or we don't know uh, whether the two nets on different sheets are actually connecting together or not. Are the nets local or global and which of them are local and global? Therefore, uh, I will try to tackle into this a little bit more in this video. For example, this is a simple schematics um, which is all on the same sheet. I think I shown it before. So the first thing you should do here, of course, is to divide the schematics into a, a functional blocks and put them on a separate sheet, which usually you do by adding a new schematics and several schematics to the project. And then you just go and select one piece, one part of the schematics. You go to the refactor and you move it to a certain sheet. And that's the first step you do. Maybe you tackle a little bit with it and you place it. So by that you divide your schematics into a several subsheets. The schematics is now finished. Uh, this is the main sheet with the microcontroller and some of the uh, minor parts. And then we have other blocks we just uh, divided these schematics into. And each of these blocks is connected with the main block through power ports, these here, and through nets, net labels, like these here. And let's say that one, PSU1-0, is connected to PSU1-0 here. But still, if you look at the schematics, you cannot say for sure how this connection is done and uh, which blocks go where. So it's still not very easily, easily readable. Therefore, we can use different ways to connect these sheets together. Let me show you all the different possibilities. The highest priority have uh, the power ports. Then we have um, ports here. Then we have offsheet connectors and we have nets. So ports, these like this ground port here, connect all the sheets together and um, the nets that, that are attached to that such port are connected together, like these grounds here and that ground. The uh, ports, these are power ports, the normal ports are connecting between the sheet uh, sheets and the sheet symbols or sheets in between. Uh, the similar is also for off-sheet connectors. However, off-sheet connectors cannot be used for hierarchical designs, so they cannot connect sheet symbols with sheets. That's only uh, a property of ports. And of course, net labels. Now, how these um, different ways of connecting sheets together is relate related, which has the priority and so on, is all defined in project, project options. Here in this option tabs, you can select net identifier scope option. And this will tell you how the nets are connecting through different sheets. Let's say if you choose global, which means that the net labels and ports are global at all sheets. So that means that one net at each sheet with the same name will connect with the rest of the nets of the same name among all the sheets. And um, that can be used to make a simple design without hierarchy. The other option is flat, which means that the nets are staying local. The, net, the nets of the same name in one sheet and in another sheet will be the same. So it will, they will not connect together and only ports are global. So that ports are actually the means of connecting sheets together. Now, uh, you can use hierarchical design. That means that the uh, sheet entries in the uh, sh sheet symbols are connecting to ports. So the ports are not connecting to each other. So the connection between the blocks, between the sheet symbols is actually done 
by wires connecting sheet symbols together in a hierarchical design on a top level sheet. And all the power ports are global, which means that power supplies and grounds can be connected together through all the sheets that are in the design. However, you can also choose strict hierarchical where everything is local. So the only connection is done by, by the connections between the sheet symbols and the power ports therefore are also local. That means that you have to take the power ports through the sheet entry out and you then connect it via the uh, sheet symbols in the top level sheet. Now, if you choose automatic, that means that actually Altium will choose which type of net identifier scope will choose. And that depends on what you actually put in your design. For example, if you just use power ports and net labels, it will choose global. If you add one sheet entry in, uh, in one or one uh, port in a single sheet, it will actually jump immediately to flat. And if you use uh, sheet symbols with some sheet entries, on the as a main sheet it will jump to hierarchical and um, you can have some options here of uh, how to the net list is created and here you can select allow ports to name nets which means that the ports can be used as a uh, sheet symbols uh, sorry uh, net net labels and here you can choose an option of append sheet number to local nets, which means that every local net in us in the same sheet will be appended with the sheet number. So um, then you have some uh, conflict resol resolving where the higher level names take priority or the power ports names take priority. If you use different names on the on a single net, then which net will take priority? So let me now guide you through a few of these examples in practice. In this schematics, we only use net labels and power ports to connect different parts of the schematics together. And um, to make it more readable, which parts goes where, we can use off-sheet connectors. Let's say here in RS485 block, we can use off-sheet connector and we connect it uh, to the pins which go outside this sheet like that one we can copy from the text below the mouse with insert key and then we can delete these net labels maybe we can also move a little bit so that uh, these off sheet connectors are well placed to let's say to the edge of this schematics we then go to the main schematics and we do the same here we use the net sh the sheet uh, of, of sheet connectors here copy and copy again and we can delete these nets as well and when we compile the schematics it should make no errors but it does what's wrong here let me show you here it says that wire net has duplicate net name okay here are some net still present so I will delete them and let me validate the project again now it makes no errors and if I go to the PCB I can import the changes here design import changes and it should make no changes and therefore the schematics is completely the same but that we use the offsheet connectors to show which parts of the schematics are connecting to another sheet I can use that also for other blocks but I still don't see that the connection between these blocks as nice as I would see if I use the block schematics. So what happens if I now change the net identifier scope? If I go to project options and uh, select instead of automatic, I select global, which I think is the same uh, as the automatic has used here. I will use global where the net labels and ports are all global and compile, it shows no differences. So it seems it's the same. Going back to project options, I will now select uh, option flat, which means that only ports are global. Okay. And when I validate, it will show an error. Why? Because the PSU1 DAG0 is present here and also in the other sheet. And since these two 
are not intended now to be connected together because they are net labels, not ports, it gives an error. And this cannot be then imported into the PCB. So I will use, as is intended in this net identifier scope, I will use ports instead of net labels. So let me show here. I will place port. I will just press insert to copy the text below the mouse to use the port of the same name like here, insert, here, and also here. And of course, I will delete these net labels because now I don't need them anymore. Okay, so let me now compile my design. It seems okay, but um, is it? If I go into the flat now, uh, the, 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 the PCB and import changes, it will remove a few nets because these nets now are not used anymore because they are not connected in the MCU. I have to do the same here. So I will do it. Okay, I placed the ports also here with the same name and now I will validate the project again. Okay, it seems fine. So these ports are now connected to the ports on the other sheet. I will go now to the flat PCB and I will import it here. I will import changes and it shows only that it will actually change the name of three ports, which I don't want because I want these nice names to be still here. So I will go back to the MCU and I will use a project option called allow ports to name nets. That one will actually name the nets according to the port names. If I now validate the project and go and import the changes in the flat PCB, it will actually show no changes at all, which means that the design is the same as before. What if you want to use the same net label at different sheets? For example, if I put a net named out here and I use the same net name in amplifier subsheet like out, let's say here, then we have two net names with the same name on different sheets. If I use validate project now, it will give me an error because the two net names with the same name are used on two different sheets, which of course in our net identifier scope when, it's you, uh, when the, uh, it is selected to be uh, ports global, uh, it's not allowed because two nets different nets with the same name cannot exist. We have a solution for that. We can go into project, project options, and select append sheet numbers to local nets. And since the net identifier scope is flat, only ports global, that would change the net names on other sheets according to the sheet number. If I do compile the project now, validate, it gives no errors. I can actually also renumber sheets with the function tools annotation number schematic sheets. This can be done in order to change the numbers of the sheets which are then appended to the net names. I can use auto sheet number, it's shown here. Okay, now the sheet numbers are, are updated, which is also seen here in the parameters sheet number three out of four. Now I can go to the flat PCB doc and I import the changes. And now the net names will be changed and all the net names that are uh, common to all the sheets are changed according to the sheet number. And these net names were already defined by the ports, while these here, for example, uh, that one and that one, are changed according to the sheet number, so they do not overlap anymore. And since ports are global, uh, they can hold the same sheet, uh, the same net name. So I'll execute changes and everything is okay, and no changes has been actually made in the PCB physically. Till now, we've been working on a flat design, and this flat design was um, connected horizontally uh, with ports or off-sheet connectors or even in the simplest way with the whole nets, net labels. So that is okay for smaller schematics, but for larger projects, 
that's just not convenient because you don't know exactly how these sheets are connected together. And um, for that, you need a top level sheet with the blocks representing uh, a certain function and a sub module. Uh, and these blocks are then connected on this top level sheet together. And you actually see exactly where this connection goes. And then each block is represented by a sheet or another block down to the hierarchy level. So I will show you simply how we would rearrange in this uh, schematics here. So I would go to a project uh, design, create sheet symbol from sheet, and I will create sheet symbol called amp. Then again, design, create sheet symbol from sheet, power. And finally, design, create sheet symbol from sheet, RS485. The block named UAMP already has these four ports, which are now sheet entries here. The power block here, this sheet symbol, does not have any ports, but it has power ports. And these power ports are connected already globally, which is set in the settings of net identifier scope. We are okay with that. Now, going back to the main uh, schematics, the RS485 doesn't have a port yet. So I will now add ports here. I will just go there and just copy over them, pressing insert key to copy the text below. And now when I place these ports, I can safely delete these sheet entries like that. Now they are deleted. And now going back to the main schematics, I have to update this sheet symbol by clicking sheet symbol actions, synchronize sheet entries and ports. And I will select these three new ports that have been added in schematics and they are now here. And now I will connect it to the, to here. I think TX and RX have to be uh, changed like that so that it is easier to connect. So here I have a little bit of a problem with the speed of this Altium, but it will do it eventually. Okay, now I'll move it here and I will just snap it on. That one is already connected with power ports and that one should be connected to here. And I will do that immediately. Okay, so now the, I connected all the connections as they should be. And now my design has to be changed to hierarchical sheet entry is equal to port connections. Okay, and I will validate the project. It seems okay. I will go to the PCB and I'll try to import changes. As you can also see, the schematics is now um, hierarchical where the MCU is the top sheet and now it has three subsheets. So importing design should have some changes now. Execute and everything is fine. So it will rename a few nets according to the changes that have been made. And by that, the design looks the same. Now, um, I could, of course, go here and select normal automatic based on project content. And it will see that I have this sheet symbol with sheet entries, and it will automatically select the option uh, hierarchical uh, with the power ports to be still global. So since the power ports are global, this power supply sheet a symbol doesn't need any, any port connection whatsoever because the power ports are all connected globally, like these grounds and so on and so on. And um, by that, this hierarchical design is much more clear because you actually see where these uh, sheet symbols are connecting to. To wrap up, I would use automatic net identifier scope for Altium to choose the best option according to the type of design you are currently on working. And uh, maybe I would call also choose allow ports to name nets so that the ports names also influence the net names. Then um, that would be sufficient for a simple flat design. If you go maybe into the flat 
only ports global option, then I would probably use this append sheet numbers to local nets, because in the subsheets you can then use the same net names are, uh, ac across the sheets and they wouldn't connect together. And that wouldn't even give an error in Altium. Now, if you go into hierarchical design, then this would be also the option to take. And finally, if you use different net identifiers on the same nets, for example, port and the net label, then you might use the option higher level name takes priority. Because here the net labels would have the highest priority, then you would have power ports, then ports and then pins. If you want power ports to take the priority, you can use this option here. So now the power ports would have the highest priority, then the net labels, then ports and the latest would be pins. And that would be probably the set of settings which would give the most intuitive uh, use of the schematics. And of course, um, Laltium will always check for errors and warnings and it will warn you about these uh, awkward situations. And um, please take these warnings and errors really seriously because it might happen that your design at the end would not be the one that you think it is according to your best um, anticipation from the schematics you've been working on and um, that I think covers the topic in full.